First, let's meet the parents of our senior cheerleaders first. We ask all players, cheerleaders, and parents to please face the press box after you're announced. First, Anasia DeBarros. Her parents, Terry Miranda and Julio Benitez. Please step to the sideline and face the press box. Haley Francis. Parents Melissa Francis and Greg Francis. After you're announced, please just stand on the sideline facing the press box. Next we have Olivia Francis, parents Laura Francis and Scott Francis. Alexandra Maynard, parents Jean Maynard and Mike Maynard. Senior Paris Musto, Mom Hilary Levesque, Paul Musto. <laughs> and Olivia Simons, parents Rick Simons and Kimberly Simons. And now let's meet our senior players and their parents. First, Nicholas Bertolino, parents Paul and Christine Bertolino. Maddie Bowen, parents Pat and Shelley Bowen. Jack Colby, parents Chris and Kara Colby. Anthony Comer, parents Anthony and Kerry Comer. Andrew Di Giovanni, parents Craig and Terry Di Giovanni. <laughs> 
Sebastian Dorsina, Patrick and Marie Dorsina. Sincere Gill, parent Quenisha Gill. TJ Guy, parents Darius and Laureen South. <laughs> Nico Holmes, parents Christine and Peter Holmes. Everett Knowlton, parents Nancy Roach and Everett Knowlton. Jake McCoy, parents Kevin and Judy McCoy. Sean Weber, parents Mike and Christine Weber. Congratulations to all of our senior players and cheerleaders and their honored parents at tonight's game. Thank you for your dedication and hard work over the last four years and for representing Mansfield with class and pride on and off the field. We wish you the best of luck in your future endeavors. Mansfield High School would also like to congratulate the Attleboro High School senior players and cheerleaders and their parents on outstanding careers and wish you the best of luck. We have enjoyed the respectful rivalry that our schools have created as Hockamock League members. Thank you.
Game football game between the Mansfield High School Hornets and our guests, the Bombardiers of Attleboro High School. Athletes, coaches, and officials have worked hard to prepare for tonight's competition. Please show your appreciation by demonstrating good sportsmanship and respect for all in attendance. Fans, please remember to socially distance and wear your mask at all times. Head coaches for the Mansfield Hornets, Mike Redding, and for the Attleboro Bombardiers, Michael Strachan. Captains for the Blue Bombardiers. Number three, William Rooney. Number seven, Michael Strachan. Number 59, Trainer Shark. Number 51, Ryan Grover. Captains for the Hornets. Number 39, Nico Holmes. Number 70, Jake McCoy. Number 79, TJ Guy. Along with number 20, Nick Bertolino. At this time, we would like to acknowledge all military veterans and active military personnel in attendance tonight. If you are a veteran or currently serving our nation, please stand so that you can be recognized for your brave and much appreciated service to our great country. Thank you. Now we ask that you direct your attention to the flag in Heroes Corner on the scoreboard end zone. 
and pay honor and respect to the United States of America with the playing of our national anthem. Enjoy the game and good luck to both teams. Sincere Gill and number 18 CJ Bell. Set to kick off for the Bombardiers is number five Colby Briggs. Okay, welcome folks. Here we go with the opening kickoff of the Attleboro Mansfield game. Short swim kick, picked up by Comer. Wow, runs across the field and picks up some nice yardage. Anthony Comer on the return. Nice return by Comer. Nolan Smith Went from one sideline to the Molly other and picked up an extra 10 yards in the, the process. Hockamock League clash tonight between the Hornets First and the Bombardiers. On, on paper, looks like a bit of a mismatch, but who, We'll see. I know uh, Attleboro dropped a game to Franklin earlier this year. Mansfield had a fairly easy time with, but uh, you never know when these Hockamock teams get together. A lot of rivalry. Backwards pass. Nice tackle. Nice tackle, but Sincere Great play, Gilmore backward Harry. pass to Sincere Gill and hit the hit the line of scrimmage quickly and picked Rooney up a nice yardage. That's a gain of nine picked up nine yards, yards second, second one. From the 44. Mansfield's got three receivers split left. Wow, another tough run. Tough to bring down. Anthony, Anthony Comer with that Harry. speed and power. It's tough Michael with Sincere is the, in the shotgun there. You know, you don't know if, she, if Sincere is going to keep the ball or hand off or throw it. Or That's a gain of lots of yards. options. First and ten, Hornets at the Bombardier 38. First and 10 Hornets from the Attleboro 38 yard line. Jake Wall splits out left. Motion, oh, fumble. Throw it, Bowen on the keeper. Heads up play by Matty Bowen to pick up that fumble and 
save it from being a disaster. Caden Murray on the stop for the Bombardiers. That is a loss. Mansfield's been hitting on all cylinders every game this season, mostly through the running game, but they've gradually been building up the passing attack over the last several weeks as well as Matty Bowen's gotten more comfortable in that quarterback slot and throwing out of it and has a great arm, great mobility, lots of outstanding receivers. The backs are good receivers as well. Bowen goes back, long throw. Incomplete. Mansfield's toughest game so far this year was against Milford, who really had a tough, tough team this year. They had a quarterback who transferred from Bishop Fian to Milford, and next year will be off to play at University of Massachusetts at Amherst, Division I football. So that was quite a Quite a tough battle for the Hornets. Now we've got the play-by-play -play guy here, so we're, we're ready to go. I was just faking it for a few plays. Didn't miss much, Larry. Some Glad to join you, Mike. nice plays. The game got started a little I early. I thought, I thought it was a 7 p.m. kickoff, but uh, 8.39 left in the first. No score, huh? From the Hornet 49. No, a couple nice passing plays. Picked up some nice yardage. Decided I'm going to keep my phone on just so. Mr. Mallon, the hotline. Coach Mallon, we can basically just take his text messages and and read them. As well, you the know, play. all the important <laughs> people have that hotline. You know, the president has that to Moscow or wherever. Ooh, oh, oh man. He gets it off just as he gets hit. Wow, pick up. Holmes has some running room there. Heard of first down. Pass is nice little screen pass there, Mike. That was quite a throw. I mean, he got drilled. He really got nailed after he let, let that ball go. It was almost like he was holding on just long enough to get his uh, receiver open. Yeah. Comer's had a couple nice passes. He had a nice uh, nice kickoff return. Was a gain of 23 nice yards. runs and passes. First and 10, Hornets at the blue bomber there, 28. Now, uh, Attleboro comes into this. Are they winless, Mike? You know, I didn't see all their scores. I do know they lost to Franklin. Yeah, I saw there were three and zero. There was one game that they didn't play at on th March 26, but uh, it looked like they were un uh, winless. Yeah. So. But they're holding their own so far. Yeah. Little cross buck there. Not much room. It looks like they played some teams tough, but we're having trouble scoring points. Um, almost yeah. like uh, you know, last week with the. Uh, Mike Strachan, trainer. Yeah, on, on paper, us. this certainly looks like it could be another play. Franklin game, but you never know. You right? never know. You, you never know. Second down and 12 from the third. Attleboro is one of those funky teams like KP. They'll, you know, pull out some trick plays. and. Well, as you can see, they got, the some, be they got some beef on the line, yeah, though, they so they, they could clog up the line and cause some havoc there. You'll be happy to know I caught the first half of the radio on the way over here of Hingham and S Plymouth South. Oh, that's impressive. Tied at the half, Mike. That's impressive. <laughs> on radio. On the radio. <laughs> W-A-T-D. Out of Marshfield. Wow, how did you even know that? I just that's leave that impressive. station on for the right. contemporary yeah. hits. <laughs> Gill spinning and turning. They have contemporary hits and they have Hingham the football. <laughs> they do. <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty good. It's actually good on the weekend. They have a guy that plays old rock and roll and introduces each song with a little story and history and trivia. It's really interesting. Wow. Can't match the entertainment on local Mansfield cable access, but. That's a gain of five. Well, I'm glad you made it into Third the booth, man. I was starting to, starting to panic there for a minute. From the well, I, heard the, I heard the announcer, Tom Ferrier, speaking. I'm, oh my God, they already started. <laughs> Uh oh. Loose ball on the play. Attleboro looks like they have it. This is this is the funny stuff that happens in yeah. these type of games, oh, Mike. Yeah. Covered by the Bombardiers. 
Brewers. No score in the game. Adelboro gets a turnover. 6.18 left in the first. First and 10, Bombardiers from the 24. They do have some size on this, this Attleboro It's team. just like uh, King Philip. They had yeah. these guys that were big in the front line there. First the 70, from the 70, 71, 73. Oh, these guys almost look bigger than KP. Yeah. They're really large. Let's see what they can do. They got a wide receiver right. Hand off left. Not much there. It's about 10 guys Daniel on the Johnson tackle there, huh? Nico Holmes on the stop. Tonight was senior Michael night, Jordan. so they honored all the, the senior Rockland players Scott and cheerleaders, which was really nice. Oh, excellent. That's a gain of three. Second and seven from the 25. Usually Attleboro has is quite a passing attack. At least they they tend to throw a fair amount, so we'll see. Timeout already. So did you catch any of the Masters today? I did. I did manage to catch a little. Uh, my selection is uh, struggling with even. I'm in this little tournament, this pool. You pick, yeah, a, guy, you yeah. pick a guy. Even's um, good. It's, it's good. Have? I got John Rahm. He's trying oh, to get under par. He's a great guy to have. Great guy to have, but uh, Rose is like seven under, and yeah. there's a bunch of guys that are six and five, so I don't know if he's going to have to make a charge at some point. Now, is that someone that you, that you pick, or is it kind of randomly assigned to you? You, you get to pick one player. Uh, a season, and then you're done. You have to pick someone else for the next tournament. You pick every tournament, yeah. and you get whatever prize money they get in your pool, and whoever has uh -huh. the most money in your pool wins a prize. Hopefully you got a teddy bear or something. <laughs> well, John Rahm's a good guy to have. He's a uh, Spaniard. He's the uh, one of the Basque. Like, yeah, uh, he's so like, fiery. Like, like Seve. Seve. Yeah. Right? I like the guy who was at Siwoo Kim who oh. broke his putter, putter yeah. in half and had to putt with a three-wood. Three-wood. He did. <laughs> he did all right with it, too. The guy, the announcers were talking about that. They, they would have taken a sand wedge yeah. or a three-iron or something. There's a pitch right. Not oh, much nice there. Defense. Good, good defense. Defense up, up front there. Time to kick, it looks like. A third down. Alex Bukowski on the carry. Mark yeah, it'll be interesting Pedro to see uh, if Attleboro can stop. take advantage of that turnover. It's so, so unusual to see the, right. the Hornets turn one over early in the game when they're marching down the field well, that's fairly stout, easily. Stout defense, though. They don't really uh, give go up too much here. Look at that interior line. They get some size there. You're yeah. Right. Sometimes the quickness can overcome that size, though. Yep. And Mansfield definitely has that. Third and four. They're trying to get a Defense the jump here. Now they're going into a audible here on the sidelines. Looks like they might do a pass. Nope. Handoff. He's got some room. Oh, he goes wide and gets pulled on. I don't know if he has enough. You know, when he started going Alex, backwards there. Alex Bukowski on the carry. Anthony Coleman. Oh, he's got it. He's no, got he's enough. Got it. Just he's made it. it. First down. I thought he might have given up the first down. Yeah. Four. So the Bombardiers convert. First and ten. You never know. You never know, Mike. Like I said last week, they might have a bag of tricks. And when you're winless, you're coming up against a good team, you're probably thinking you can't beat them straight up. So you got to maybe do some reverses, yeah. razzle-dazzle, trick plays, go for it on fourth, pull the old King Phillip yep. fourth and ten from your goal line and go for it. And they certainly have a talented coaching staff for sure. Oh, nice. Ooh. Look at that. Max. Is that TJ? It's TJ, guy. Oh, it's like a rag doll. You wrapped him up. <laughs> wrapped him up. Down by senior captain number 79 TJ's Guy. gotten quicker much quicker from last yeah. year. I don't know if he's gotten play. a little lighter or faster but he seems quick second and 12 from the 31 Alvaro definitely has more players than King Philip had they did good size yeah, they get some good numbers. size squad even guys on the sidelines yeah. 76 some 300 pounders, it looks like. There's a pass deep. Oh, good defense. That was, because that was a Johnson perfect pass, pass. right there. Bertolino on the defense. Great nice tight job. coverage. 
Nick Bernalino on the cover. You know, think back to the, the defensive secondary of Mansfield. Over the years. This is going to be one of the best. Yeah. Oh, I mean, yeah. I remember there were some years where you, you'd give up a big play, a big pass every few uh, series, but these guys are all over it. Yeah, they just seem so consistently good. Mm. Like there's no, no gas. It doesn't drop off at all. No. At all, these guys are, they're great coverage guys. The Milford game was a testament to that. Yeah, you know, going up against a, a D1 future D1 quarterback and right. just holding him completely in check. There's that pitch wide. Nothing there again. Yeah. Holmes right on the stop. Finishing them off. It's just hard to see them having a lot of success running against the Hornets, yeah. you know, with the yeah. defense we've got. So it's going to be uh, fourth and long, and they're going to have to kick. Carry. So Nico Mansfield Holmes gets the ball back. No damage done on that turnover. On the stop. No gain on the play. Big match tomorrow, fourth Mike. And 12 you a, you a fan of Trojans, one. Mike? Who's, what's tomorrow? You a big fan of Trojans? Yeah. Or do you like the... Uh, Boxes tomorrow. <laughs> Bridge, Bridgewater random Trojans. All right. Going out of boxer country. Oh, that's a big one. Dan Buron's last game. Gill takes it. The 30. Reverses field. Goes oh, wide. He hits, this is what he likes to do. Oh, boy. Gets some opening, and then he just cuts back. Wow. Way across midfield. Sincere. Over the 30 and out of the 35. The nice return. return. That acceleration through the masses there was just amazing. Usually you try to go sideways, and you don't get anywhere because they're running alongside yeah. with you, and they just go, go out of bounds. But he pulls, pulls away. 10, Hornets at the bottom of the air, 37. So they'll still play each other once they, they're forming a new league? They formed a new league, which I didn't really realize. Instead of the big three with Brockton, Durfee, and New Bedford, they have the Southeast Conference with Brockton, Bridgewater, Raynham, Durfee, Dartmouth, and New Bedford. Yeah. And whoever wins tomorrow is like the league champion. That's, that's the end yeah. of the season. Another spin move by Gill. <laughs> he just, he just wow. avoids the tackle. So evasive. Collins wow. passes complete to Sincere Gill. Yeah, by all rights, he should have been tackled right there in the first man. But Jayden he, uh, Royster on the stop. It's like Mercury. I think Mansfield would have gone deep into the playoffs this year as oh, well. Man. You'd, have to, you'd have to think that we're favorite, defending champs. Yeah, Hornets Division Two champs. At the here, 22. I think we're ranked number two in the state. I don't know if they can even really rate them this year. I know. For a few games to compare. But, yeah, as far as going off last year and returning talent. Yeah, it's the usual Catholic Memorial, Central Catholic. Oh, yeah. I think Mansfield's number two. Yeah, it, but this year, how do you tell? Yeah, how do you, how really do you tell? Yeah. Gill takes a shotgun hand. Oh, flag. Looks to be a procedure call here. Five yard procedure penalty against the Hornets. It'll be first and 15 from the 27. Well, it's, there's been a remarkable lack of flags so far this game, so hopefully that will. Yeah, last continue. year, I think last week we had a, sh a share of uh, yeah. too many of uh, the flags. I thought we'd have a couple scores by now. Gill takes a little draw. Oh, 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 oh. Did he get in? He gets in. Touchdown, oh, Hornets. Gill heads to the corner. Touchdown, Sneaks into just, the corner. Just, just evades too, the tackler. Too two, fast and elusive. Gill. It's like he's a, a step ahead of everyone. Nice run. Mansfield takes the lead. 6 nothing. Conversion attempt coming up here. When you think about I mean, think of all the great running backs Mansfield had, has yeah. had over the years. I mean, it's hard for me to think where, where someone was James just Gellerin like that formation. much better than everyone else on the field. There's a seems. lot of great runners. I mean, yeah. I, I won't be able to remember half the names, I know, but... Uh, but he almost looks like he's toying with. Uh, I think it's that deceptive good. stride because yeah. he'll run that one step score, and it's like two steps to the uh, defender and he just pulls away. Like we mentioned Sean Doherty and remember Jamal Marshall and yeah, you know we had uh, so many lots of, of lots of speedsters and yeah. power guys. Raposa, Robbie Raposa had speed. Kevin Mackey was fast. 
but just to see someone who almost looks like he's in a like Comer looks to me like a lot of the backs, a lot of the great backs we've had. Yeah. And then just something, another level about. I think it's the, the stride, sincere, the that fast stride. It's 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 deceptive speed. Like nine times out of ten, it's usually not a good idea to just go to the other side of the <laughs> field to right. try to. But that, like he just routinely does that, right. and I can't I can't remember a time where he's lost yardage doing it. No. And it's like he has a good sense of when to cut back. Yeah. If the pursuit's going all out to get to him and he makes a move inside, he's got a little jump on him. It's a kick down to the 15. Not too much more. Up over the 20-yard line. William Rooney on the return. C.J. Bell on the stop for the Hornets. C.J. Bell, freshman. We're going to be hearing his name a lot for the next few years. I'd like to give sure. C.J. Bell a ringing endorsement. <laughs> right. oh, I'm sorry. There I'm you sorry. go. Yeah. <coughs> Not everybody likes a sophisticated humor, <laughs> but it, I'm laying it out there for those who love it. It's kind of like the New Yorker. You have to really appreciate it. <laughs> First and ten. Yeah, we're, we're often compared to <laughs> High in the face. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's the level of humor. Defense shifting all over the place here. Get set. Maybe a handoff up the middle. Oh, we got a gap. Bust up the middle. Ooh. It's going to be a Ooh, first guy, down for the Rocketeers. I tell you, that guy's got some power. They got a little push up yeah. the middle there from that interior line. They faked the pitch and went Pretty right up the middle. The it's a, it DJ surprises me that stop. these guys lost to Franklin just just based on the That's first quarter. They. First look like a pretty adequate decent yeah. team. They get some talent. They get some size. Looks like they can they can throw the ball. Yeah. That's some pretty sophisticated sets and shifts for sure. Yeah, that gives a little confusion to the defense. A little penalty there, a little too confusing for them. Yeah. It's first and ten. This one will come back. Winding down the first quarter. There's a penalty on the play. We've got Taunton away Pedro next week, Cruz and then Foxborough at home the, the, the following weekend, and that's it for our six-game season. But thank God they were able to have one. Yeah, you know? they were. They Thank God they had a season at all. I mean, they could have easily said, you know, shut it down and try next year, but they managed to get it in. It's nice Say to have a football season that ends at the end of April, and then another one starts up a is. few I months know. later. I know, I know. And from everything I'm seeing from this squad and the the junior sophomores and freshmen, it's, oh, it's lots just of looks talent, like Mike. another lots of talent another coming up. Strong team in the fall. Sideline warning yeah. against the Hornet sideline. It seems like every year you, you hear some story that oh yeah the uh, from the forty. The Pee Wee system of the the midgets not midgets but the. Uh, Instructional leagues are undefeated and coming up, and the freshman team is undefeated, and all these underclassmen are playing well. Maybe a pass out to the side here. Oh, too much. Johnson's pass. And what's interesting, I'm like some programs who maybe just Lake built up. around a quarterback. You know, they have a quarterback that's going to be their start, their starter for the, the next court. three years or so. Right. Mansfield's really shaking it up over right. the last several years. I didn't know. Matty Bowen was going to be the quarterback this yeah, year. I Aiden know. Sacco a couple of years ago right. had never played quarterback. Right. And, you know, he started, and we saw him go from not – I don't think he threw a pass his first game to being quite a passer. Quite a passer, yeah. It just goes to show, show you the level of coaching these kids have and their just natural ability. They can just play different positions and adjust. And, and I and like having well. the uh, the Wildcat with a, with a runner oh, like yeah. Sincere. <laughs> and you saw how he can and throw. he can throw, right? He just snaps that wrist and it goes 50 yards on the line. Oh, oh. Mark D. Oh, wow. Mark D on the stop. Yeah, the D. Girolamo brothers, they are oh. terrific. The whole Keegan defense, the I mean, Coach Di Girolamo and his, his staff, I mean, the no defense game. is just so eight. tough. I'm not going to say swarming, the but they are. They're, they're, they gang tackle. 
With the score, the Mansfield Hornets seven. That actually felt like it was a Blue quarter. You know, yeah, well, 11 minute quarter. Yeah. Last time it was 12. <laughs> yeah. I guess, I don't know. That's fine. I'm not sure. Seven nothing Hornets, first quarter. It was one minute shorter, but it seemed like about 45 <laughs> minutes know, shorter. I know. Compared to maybe it was all the penalties or I don't know what was going on a couple of those games. But yeah, the defense has just been terrific. So almost, you know, year in, year out. Yeah. And what do we, you know, give up one touchdown a, a game if that yeah, this yeah. year? Hats off to the coaches. They they get them prepared. They really do. And this this year especially, it's easy oh, to yeah. have mistakes and uh, things out of out of whack. But uh, they came to play. They're all ready. I also wonder if the refs might be a little out of whack, just being out of out of practice a little bit. You know, certainly seen a couple of games with yeah inordinate amount of penalties. Maybe it is that you know kids just haven't had the time to practice, and there's just some more mental mistakes. But yeah, I know last week the referees seemed to throw an awful lot of penalties. Which, when you think about it in the grand scheme, do you have to throw a penalty on every little infraction when it's 28 nothing? You're trying to get the game over. It's uh, one thing to throw penalty flags. It's another thing to have like a half-hour conference call right. after each one. Everyone's <laughs> waving their arms and pointing in diff different directions <laughs> like it's the uh, League of Nations. <laughs> it's a little high punt. Going to kick Watch back probably. Yep, little, little, little yep. A little wedge shot. How, came how back. did you know that was going to bounce He was back. kicking, spinning backwards. <laughs> 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 at the flight of the ball. It looks like one of my drives. Bounces <laughs> straight up. take over first and 10 from their own 42. Yeah, we're going to play some golf tomorrow now that I oh, yeah? took a lesson and had the guy tell me I had absolutely no idea how to hold a golf well, club. I, I can certainly relate to that, Mike. I remember I was golfing with a guy once, and he had his son's training grip in his bag. <laughs> I'm like, what's this? He goes, that's a training thing for my son. And it's got these little grooves and bumps that you grab, and it shows you where you put your hand. And I go, oh, is this how you're <laughs> supposed to do it? He's like, yeah. I'm like, oh, that makes sense. And I started hitting like that, and that made the whole difference. Your left hand has to kind of be on top of their knuckles aiming up. I, I, I didn't had, know that. I had no idea. I grab it like a baseball. Yeah. I'm like, hey, what's going on? What's wrong? First and ten. Oh. Gill makes a move, but he gets swarmed. No gain there. Hey, I was getting a little fired yeah, up. Yeah, I was going to say the Alvin sidelines all giving a when you stop standing to see a Gill for a two or three yard loss. That's a victory. You should be fired. That's a victory up. for them. Slight loss on the play. It'll be second and 11 from the 40. Uh, Taya, we're, we're not exactly moving at will here. You know, there. I know. I, I had visions of uh, this might be like 49 to nothing at halftime. Oh, I, I, I thought it was going to be 28 nothing at halftime. Bowen throws over the middle. Oh, oh, he's got wow. Comer. He's got Gill. He's gone. He's got Gill. No, oh, no, Tyler. Caught. They got caught from behind. S somebody caught him. That wow, that's got that's a first. Gill. That was a beautiful pass. It's a nice pass right over the he middle. He just ran right that's into down, that throw. Time. Manny Bowen, look at that left-handed uh, quarterback right over the middle. I thought it was too first far down, in the middle, but he just he went and got it. I think right into it. I think he went and got it. Yeah. A 55 yard touch what a nice play. play. Perfect play, From yeah. Manny Bowen to Sincere Gill. Yeah, they try to stop the run, and uh, all of a sudden you get these guys open downfield. That was down to the four yard line, so first and goal. Gill in the tailback position. You think I might just give him a toss? I think so. That should do it. He goes wide. Nobody can catch him. <laughs> yeah. You think that he can on him? Yeah, I know. Touchdown number two. They nice sealed by the line there. Nobody, no pursuit coming out there. So touchdown number two for the Hornets. I don't know if I've ever seen him running full speed across the <laughs> end line. <laughs> I know. Like he's he's usually in a in a jog towards. I think that's the way he runs. Yeah. I think he's going full speed, but <laughs> it, look, it looks so effortless. <laughs> yeah. It looks like he's cruising. Yeah. yeah. Cam Walsh is the holder. Like he usually knows by about the 10 yard line or so that he's yeah. in and uh, just kind of puts it in cruise you, control. When you're graceful, it looks, looks easy. Yeah. 
Like I was told I look like a deer when I run. <laughs> right. with a deer with three legs. Good. <laughs> the conversion kick is good. It's 14 score, nothing. That was 14, a huge, 14, big pass play to yeah. kind of open things up a little bit. It certainly did. They opened it right up. Maybe take a scores. little bit of the life out of the out of the Attleboro team. But yeah. I didn't realize there was a college football season going on now with the all the one double A teams are well, not all of them are still playing. I know URI just had to stop because of COVID, but oh. they just moved their whole season to uh, to the springtime. That's been a year of adjustments. Yeah. In the pro sports, so they're at. Uh, like the TD Garden, what are they at, 20% or something, or 40? Alex I think it's around 20%. Ethan yeah. back deep to receive the kick from the Hornets, James Gillerin. Boom, there you Here's go. There's your big kicker. Shoulder nice high kick catch. to the five, goes right up the middle. Oh, nice Finds run. Finds an opening. Oh, taken down, nice hard tackle there. That was a great hit, but that was a great return. Right. Ethan Lyko on the James return. Fischera. James Fischera on nice the Nice tackle, spot. James. Yeah, he really Hornets. stuck him. Nice tackle, open field tackle. He wrapped him up, too, like you say. Yeah. Get those arms around. Some guys have to get First their arms around. Bobby Some guys Spinell just did so. 34. Was it Comer last? Somebody just yeah, popped he, a guy. He gave him a shoulder, <laughs> and the guy went down. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I ever tackled anyone without wrapping my arm. This 44 is a tough running back. Yeah. He gets ahead of steam going. He's not easy to bring down. A lot of misdirection. It's oh, 32 wow. going wide. He's yeah. got an opening. Oh, pushed out of bounds. Wow. Great game. Nice. Good Kate speed, Murray too. Murray on the carry. Murray. Anthony First down Comer Hornets. On First down stop. Rocketeers. They show life. Yeah, they're a spunky team. Yep. That's a gain of 24 yards. First and 10, Bombardiers at the There's also that psychological two. thing, Mike. When you're playing the the, the top mm -hmm. team, yeah. this guy high, this will make this easy if they can knock him off, as opposed to when you're playing a team that's winless, you got to kind of motivate yourself to play and to play hard. That's you, true. You can't take them for granted, but. I put the Saddleboro team up against KP. I, yeah, they'd probably an I even mean, match, wouldn't you think? I, they look like it to me. They do. Up the middle, opening. Big gain. Rock, Rocketeers on the move. Bombardiers on the move, I should say. Freddie Wheaton on the carry. Nick Bertolino on the stop. That was a pretty impressive drive after, it is. after the TD. Of Nine. I thought that might take some wind out of the sails, but they're Second bouncing short, right back. Going right 32. at it. You got a measure? We'll have a measurement. Yep. How many more years, Mike, you think the chain gang exists before they go <laughs> digital or computerized <laughs> or something? I know the way tennis and other sports are I going. They got everything. It does you seem know. pretty archaic. <laughs> You know, I just think the day will come when people just check their phones to see if it's a first time. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> With cameras everywhere yeah. now and instant replay and video. This mechanical. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Second down and about a foot to go. I love the way the ref turns and it shows you how far it's short, like you couldn't see the foot <laughs> behind him. <laughs> <laughs> Relaying the, the call. <laughs> So second one. Let's see if Good they give time it. to throw it. Well, they could. They might want to just give it to this uh, bowling ball here, number 44, yeah. and plunge up the middle here and get that first down. They try to do that hard count to get him the jump. Oh, this 32 looks yeah. like it has enough. I tell you, that's a pretty good backfield. It is. You know, 44 is a powerful kid. Yep. 
Not easy to bring down. And 32 Kate has Murray. got more speed than I thought he was going to have going around the, the right Wilson. side yeah. there. 32 First is a good number for back. It looks good there, going that wide that way. 30. Quarterback seems like a good leader too. Yep. Take you know takes charge. Haven't made uh, many mistakes. He's got a decent throwing arm. Yep. At least at short distance. First and 10 from the 30. I'm going to receive a left here, see if they're going to try a run here, pass. Nope. Another misdirection. Misdirection play, short gain. Caden Murray on the carry, Everett Knowlton on the stop. Yeah, I have no idea what Foxborough is going to look like because they, you know, because they play Kane in the other three. division. I know they, they lost to Stoughton, Second but I think they, they beat, beat the uh, Sharon and all of her There's always a lot of emotion in that game, so who yeah. knows? That could be a tough one. Yep. The rivalry doesn't seem to, doesn't really seem to fade, you know? No. For some reason, it just... Uh, the history of it, and there's always pride, and yeah. you probably see these kids in town. Number nine, gonna drop back and throw deep. Whoa! It's gonna be picked off. What do we got here? Interception for the Hornets in the end zone. Shirt is tucked in, can't read yeah. it. <laughs> Untuck that shirt. Number three, Number Anthony three. Coleman. 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 How many does he have this year, Mike? The Hornets. He's got a nose for the ball. Oh, he's got to have five or six. First and ten, Hornets at the... That's amazing in a short 20. season, right? But if you want your number broadcast all over national TV, you got to pull you have the you shirt down. This, right? <laughs> pull it and pull it out and point to it. Right. You want your air time. As a matter of fact, a friend of mine was telling me we were watching the Masters, and he said some of these big stars, they get paid, you know, a contract by a manufacturer to wear their hats or equipment. Yeah. But some of the lesser guys, they get paid for minutes on the air. So if the camera's on you for like 10 minutes, you get like $100 a minute or something. Oh, or really? Sorry, a second, yeah. Oh, Gill goes wide, makes a move. First down for a Sincere Gill. Sincere Gill on the carry. Hayden Hegarty on the stop. That was a big interception to stop that drive. It was, it was. That's a gain of 18 yards. First they went for the score, though. I don't, I don't blame yeah. them. Try to no, go, that... go for a knockout punch. Yeah. Get some points There's on the board. A, if, we can, if we can punch another one in, that, that's a huge difference yeah. between 14-7 and 21-zip. Yeah. But Comer had, he just went over and got that ball on a, yeah. like a, like a flash. Yeah, he's just he's had so many interceptions. At least at least a couple will return for touchdown. As Bowen rolls left. Nice protection. He throws it. Looks, I think he picked it off. Intercepted. Edelbo returns the favor. Interception. That was a heck of a pickoff. Oh, he was here. diving. He, he had to diving. dive for that, yep. yeah. Edelboro's showing some spunk. <laughs> they really are. They're certainly not intimidated, that's for sure. First and ten, Blue Bombardiers at midfield. There's a penalty, too? I can't tell. No. Just trying to get the... Just get the... The line crew set up. That was a great interception. Yep. Up the middle. No, oh, look at that drive back. Wow. <laughs> it's at nice home. Jack. That nickel home. He wrapped him up. <laughs> yeah. with the, looked like a takedown for two. Yeah. Wrapped up those legs Nico and drove. On the stop. Slight loss on the play. I wonder what the Holmes family family tackles are. <laughs> I wonder if they have like wrestling matches in the backyard yeah, yeah. and they all just tackle each other. They 
They definitely have some a lot of misdirection, and I mean they have the straight the straight dives too, but they yeah. they have a lot of motion and misdirection. Second nine from the fifty. Five twenty three left in the half. There's the misdirection. Ooh. Oh, they're wrapping him up quick. Oh, wow. That got a loss nowhere. of five. Hey, Murray on the carry. Yeah, they kind of went to the well too often on that Close one. And that just sh tacklers. shows you when you're a defensive lineman and you can get that penetration and push that he push that offensive line Ray back Ray a little bit, you might not make the tackle. He probably didn't make the Game tackle on that play. He disrupted oh, the whole play. But the whole play was just oh, going man. nowhere. He had to go deep, and now he's got more yardage to make up. Loss on the play. Third and 14. Five yards. Got a timeout on the field. I don't know. It's Third looks 14. like a pretty much a real game to it's me. It's a great game. I, just, I, I was not expecting it to be this competitive just based on the, you know, yeah, on what paper, we last on week. Paper, on the, yeah, yeah, you saw that. <laughs> <laughs> well, Mansfield's so explosive, you know, they could – they could just uh, score on several yeah. plays, and it'd be like quickly. It could be multiple touchdowns, and it's like, okay, how's this team going to keep pace? But uh, they're doing well. Defense is hanging in there. Turn a couple turnovers, right? I guess <coughs> you just showed me the two games, last week's and this week's game. I would have said last week was Attleboro, and this week was right. KP. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Quarterback has a pretty good arm, too. Yeah, let's see if they try another pass here uh, against this Mansfield secondary in pass rush. Rolls right. Jump pass incomplete. A lot of pressure. Daniel Guy, all of them, TJ well, Guy. Our announcer, Coach Mallon, has just tuned pressure in. So, uh, oh, good. TJ just Guy. tuning in. Any questions? Any questions for him yet? Keep him on the hotline. Mike, all we want you to do is just text the commentary, and we will read it. <laughs> that's that's the game plan here. Number so one fan, Mike Larry's going to do play-by-play, -play, but Number for any fan. color commentary, yeah. I will just read what you say. The way it should be. It's a boulder amongst men. <laughs> oh, nice punt. Oh, it sends Comer back a little bit. Goes wide. Oh, nice. Nice, nice straight arm. Gills throw offering some protection here. He might go all the oh, way. He's gone. Sideline. They go to oh. hold, <laughs> holding hands going to the end zone. Nice, nice little uh, uh, escort. There's a flag. No. Oh. I think on the 50. Oh, my God. Why would they? Oh, I there is flags. a flag on the play. I think I hate flags more than passwords on the <laughs> computer. <laughs> that was a great run oh, back. Beautiful. That's pretty good when you're high-fiving with your <laughs> blocker. I don't think I've seen Waltzing in the end zone. <laughs> oh, holding. Holding on the answer. Uh, holding on both teams. The first comment from Coach Mallon is that All Mansfield will, will return the punt for a TD. Was that before or after the touchdown? Well, <laughs> Check the timestamp on that. <laughs> I don't know. I, I, I think he knows what he's talking about. He's, he keeps that up. He's going to be in your... Your <laughs> prognosticator <laughs> league, man, you've, you've had some unbelievable. He actually went out, Coach Mellon went out of his way last week to talk about the Reading game. He said, and I didn't oh, check my yeah, phone, and yeah. said, make sure you mention Larry's greatest call of all time. <laughs> well, that was that was the more Reading out of Super Bowl. That was more out of frustration because Mansfield had been moving the ball but just turning the ball oh, over. That and I go, was a great they call. They couldn't stop them. If they just stopped turning the ball over, they'll do fine. There's a little shank punt that'll go out of bounds. No return this time. Colby Briggs punt goes out of bounds on the outer sideline. Colby Briggs, that sounds like a law firm, doesn't it? Yeah. Or an investment house. Smith First Barney. and 10 at the Hornet, 25. Hornets take the ball back, 427 left in the half. I'll try to extend that lead. So that Reading game was oh, that arguably was one of the greatest. It really was a thrill, games. really was a thrill. Another talented team, too. Oh, yeah, they had that, that big quarterback. 
Yeah. I can't remember where he was off to, but Yukon or you know, some some place like that. Gill takes a snap, he goes wide and outruns the defender, of course. <laughs> oh, finds a crease. You know what it is? Like uh, on those cuts, like he doesn't, he doesn't lose any speed. No, he doesn't. He's going full hey, throttle, hey, and he can make a cut like that. Yep. Seems like on every play wide here, this number six for uh, Attleboro gets them out of bounds, and they that's they tap each other on the helmet yeah. when they're done. Good sportsmanship. First and ten that's and good. Morris. They know each other well now with the yeah. outside Thirty-eight. runs. Been a pretty entertaining first half. It is. It is a lot, of, a lot of exciting plays, long plays, turnovers. First and ten from the 38. Fakes the handoff, rolls left again. Looks oh, like he might run this. Got some speed too. Oh, incomplete. That's got to be tough to. <coughs> if you're running that fast, he was running fast. Yeah. That's got to be tough Second to throw. And ten even if you're going in that in the right direction. Yeah. I don't know how the guys do it. I don't know. How those I guys know, can I know. go the opposite direction. Then they improvise and do these little underhanded or yeah, shovel passes, yeah, and yeah. it's right there. <laughs> Sidearm stuff. Yeah, they get under an arm or something. I saw Aaron Rodgers hosting Jeopardy this week. <coughs> oh, yeah? He did a nice job. Really? Yeah, he did he was, a nice job. He's a big fan, I heard. Yeah. Yeah, it was great to, great to see him in that role. Yeah, they were talking about that. Would he take that for a permanent gig? Because he could do that for 40 more years, but he can't play base, uh, football for yeah. much longer. Oh, Gill keeps it up the middle. Wow. They got him by the shirt, but he's still going. All was right. it in the Packer game, the Super Bowl, where they went for a field goal at some point and when everyone Gilles said yes? So and that the, was the Jeopardy, the Jeopardy contestant didn't have any clue what the answer was. Right. Did, I don't know if you saw, so he I wrote heard about it. He's wrote, whose idea was it to go for yeah. the field goal? <laughs> and he just caught Rogers off. It was right. just so <laughs> funny. <laughs> he's like, that's a great question, yeah. but it's, we're, gonna, we're not going to answer that. <laughs> The whole audience just like. Yeah, that's a great opportunity to have your answer uh, <laughs> yeah. seen by all. All right. Third and a few here. I'll tell you, we're not for that 55 yard pass play. We might not have that second touchdown yet. No, it's yeah. There's another timeout time here. Bombardiers. Kind of glad the games developed the way it has, you know. It's right. Yeah, that's competitive. What been, you don't want to see one-sided yeah. events that are they're not good for either team. Yeah, for some reason KP just just didn't look like a. It typical wasn't the no. It wasn't their usual team. They usually have a better high-powered offense. It looked like they were limited in their offensive yeah. capabilities. The defense was strong, but um, yeah. You think some of these, uh, you know, bigger, uh, I think they have a little bit bigger school populations in uh, in Taunton and Attleboro. You can get those programs developed and, you know, have football be yeah. like what it is in a, in a town like Mansfield. You really have some some great teams. I was thinking that. I go Taunton and Attleboro both seem to have that same. They haven't really developed over the years like they'd probably – Hope they would. Yeah, like in basketball, they have from time to time. Attleboro had some great basketball. A kid who went to Michigan, and Taunton's had some great basketball yeah, yeah. teams. It's third and three. Well, that's a pretty confusing backfield. Who do you key on? Oh, yeah. And then they go in motion. Oh, a little play up oh. the middle, get some room. Nice run. Comer breaks Anthony it for first down. Comer on the carry. Nice little. Trick blocking up the front there. Caden Murray on the stop. That kid seems to touch the ball, whether it's offense or defense or special teams. Yep. <laughs> he's always around the ball. Yep. Gain of 13 he took the opening yards, kickoff at the, the other sideline. He, he didn't gain tremendous yards, but he went completely across the field wow. and picked up an extra 15 or 20 yards. Keep an eye on these uh, shotgun snaps here. Make sure they're yeah. make sure they're chest high and not too high. Perfect. 
Goes, oh. Oh, goes left and goes right. Gets some blocking downfield. Cuts back. Cuts back. He's going to go real wide. Real wide. Get a block Watch here. Get a block there. back. Ooh. Oh, nice tackle I'm there. 55. I'm impressed. That, that guy caught 59 him. 59 caught him from behind. Pass is complete to no, he, had, he had the angle. But got another flag down here. Sure. I guess a lot of guys blocking every which way. They might have had a block in the back somewhere. <laughs> I don't know if it's they part of the play or not, but Sincere Gill was on the other sideline almost. Just like waving, yeah. for the, waving for the pass. And then they flip it around the other side for yeah. the screen. That was the fake. I don't know if that's – I don't know if you have to do that. But Come on, another penalty. We're getting peppered with penalties here. Peppered. Holding ball against the Hornets. I don't know if this is the same crew as last time. Hornets questioning the call. Certainly a lot of chatter. In any event, it's first and ten. First and five, it looks like. First down and five yards to go for the Hornets. I don't know if that's right. Mm -hmm. Time out. Time out. That'll be Some confusion there. Uh, That's a big, big couple of minutes, yeah. If we, if we can punch another one in, that's, yeah. that's huge. Yeah. Yeah, this is like the pivot point here. You go up 21-0, yeah. it's a big difference from 14-7, yeah. boy. It's 14-0 now, but if Attleboro could, you know, come up with a turnover or a late play, change the whole complexion. Mansfield definitely looks sharper, sharper this week. You know, there, I mean, there have been some penalties, but not, yeah. nothing, nothing close to what we saw last week. And yeah. There's TJ stretching out there, out maybe back a little banged up. It looks yeah. like he's nursing some injury. Yeah, it looks, it looks like he's limping a little too. He's back in there though. He's a big boy. He must be a force to be reckoned with on the, on the basketball court as well. Yeah. He's a great basketball player. So are a lot of these guys. Two sport athletes, huh? Yeah. Timeout, Hornets. Matty Bowen's a great player. Another timeout. A lot of timeouts this half. Looks like they wanted to see what the defense yeah. is going to come up with. They're going to give another look. Hey, TJ does not look comfortable out there. No. Looks like he's being nagged by some pain. Yeah. So tomorrow is Bridgewater, Raynham, and in Brockton, Brockton? And Brockton, yeah. Are you going? No, no, I'm going to take a ride down to Connecticut and see my daughter. But, uh, oh, nice. Yeah. Um, she has a horse. She wants to see her ride her horse. So oh, wow. Nice. But uh, all right, yeah, it'll be fun. All but uh, right. yeah, the Brockton, we, uh, haven't had, we haven't had much equestrian talk. No, on we the, haven't. Got a whole other broadcast whole area we could explore. <laughs> Last time I went down there, I took a picture of uh, the rear end of uh, the horse, Casper, and I put a picture on Facebook. Gill takes this up the middle. Looks like a first down. Still more. Wow, he's still going. Sincere Gill on the carry. Okay, you got to finish the Casper. It, it's a, <laughs> it's I posted on Facebook, my, the Long picture. I go, can you find the horses behind in this photo? <laughs> and people would say, the trick question, there's two. First and 10, Hornets at the Bombardier, 26. I got to keep this a family show, Michael, sorry. 148, right. first and 10, the Hornets. Bowen drops back, he throws right. Ooh, a little low. Bowen's pass is oh. incomplete. Intended for Jake Wall. No uh, Knowlton this William week, huh? Rooney on the yeah, I heard his number. 
That's a great Second point. down and 10 from the 26. I don't know what's going on with uh, number eight. He might have gone pro after last week. <laughs> you got drafted early. What, what a performance. Second and 10 from the 26. Well, oh, no, a nice scoop up. Going to throw it away. Good play. Well, after oh. last week's game, I know some folks were, were wondering if we'd even have this game because I think Attleboro was having some, some COVID issues. So I'm glad, glad we yeah, got it Yeah, it's always touch and go day to day, I think. They have to see how it goes. Third Good play ten. here. It's funny you can hear the uh, peepers, the uh, what are those frogs or crickets? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> when so, there's no one talking, so it's few like people. Hit, it's the springtime night. Yeah. Bowen rolls left. He's looking at the end zone. Nope. Nice. Oh, nice completion. First down over the 10 yard line. Jake Wall. That was a perfect pass. Nice catch, nice catch Jake. There. Jake Wall, Jr. We'll Big play. That was, that was third and 10. Conversion. Right? Yeah. Absolutely. Oh, that, that's a gain of 18. That's a huge yards. play. First down, goal to go at the Bombardier 7. Timeout, Bombardiers. Timeout. Boy, oh, bro. big yeah. conversion. That sets us up yeah. nicely. Yeah, one, one seventeen left in the half. First and goal from the seven. Lots of options here. It just seems like you just give a toss to uh, Jill or yeah. just let him take the snap and try to stop him. I mean, it's like the old uh, instructional just league. Just put yeah. the fast kid with the ball and yeah. try to stop him. There's just too much... Too much field Yardage. to cover. <laughs> to <laughs> Too cover much field out to there. cover. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, who, who's going to beat him? Who's yeah. going to beat him to the sideline? Even if you get the angle, I mean, yeah. he'll just accelerate. Yeah. And then if, you, if you're going all out, he'll just cut back. Yeah, I think that's a, that's a great idea for a play here. <laughs> <laughs> Not real inventive or exciting, yeah, but gets the job done, works. right? Seven yards to go. Should be able to bang it in here. The couple plays. Let's see. Alberto's yeah, got some big boys up front, though. Yeah, that's why I think going wide. I see number, to make number eight, eight in the game, oh, Mike. Where did he come from? We were just talking. About it. I couldn't find him on the sideline. There he is. He's on the left. First down. Goal to goal. Left end. From the oh, side. High snap. Gill yeah. takes it over to. Oh, he gets. He's trying to break free, but. Oh, he is free. They didn't call that over. Look at the moves. Look at the moves. He's still up. <laughs> He's still up. <laughs> it's almost like they get him halfway down and he breaks free. Sincere Gill on the carry. Give it try to catch a fish and get him in the boat. The thing's Alan jumping and flipping Harrison and you can't quite get a hold of him. That's what it that was the best five-yard loss I think I've ever seen. I thought they called him down over there, but no whistle. They don't know what to do with this kid. It's like, <laughs> should they call it over or... I don't know. Timeout Hornets. That was a long <laughs> two yards or whatever it was. What did he run? Was it no gain? 40 yards? <laughs> you have to pin him like in wrestling or else he won't go down. That's funny. Yeah, the sidelines barely constrain him, boy. He just he just doesn't care. Yeah. It's like he's done the math. He's like DeChambeau. He's, he's done the math. He's I was thinking, <laughs> since he has that advantage on the on the wide field, <coughs> excuse me, he'd be great in Canada with that extra big field. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Just run <laughs> wide. Try to catch me. <coughs> well, 
Okay. The Reading quarterback that I mentioned? Yep. Coach Mal. Now has the eight yards on that play. He has the Brian has the Bork. Down, went to University of Vermont, UVM, who doesn't have football. He's working as an engineer in New Hampshire now. No kidding. <laughs> the source of information, a fountain of knowledge. <laughs> How can he possibly know that? Second and 15. Oh, he's open. Dumps it off. Looks like Nolton gets the ball for a first down. Bowen's pass is complete to number six, Jake Wall. Oh, it's not a first down because he would have had to get the end zone. He just uh, picked up about 10 yards, but okay. Here we go. Third and goal from the two, a one. Oh, nice hesitation. Oh, right up the middle, number 39. Holmes. Touchdown, he did a nice job there. He waited Hornets. waited for a little bit of an opening to occur. I know. You know some waterbacks do that? Yeah. They, they wait for the hole and they, oh. just, they find it and they go get it. And that touchdown by the Hornets. That's 20 nothing. Oh, that was a big score. Big score. Big drive. James Gillard, an extra Version point Kick was blocked. Oh, nice Kick block. was blocked. All right. Number six, Hayden Hegarty so on the block. Stays 20 nothing. Score remains the Mansfield Hornets. So anything you want to know about any former Apple high school Bonner football player zero. in the state of Massachusetts <laughs> within the last 20 years, what their current career is, I'm a little disappointed he didn't tell me what kind of engineering. He's, it's a little vague. Um, Might be a railroad engineer. I don't know. No, I think he. Uh, I think he knows the dad. Oh yeah. Well, do you remember the the big thing in that game was, I think was was it the the coach that heavy set guy with the flat top and the sunglasses. Wow. And they had the lead in the ball, and all they had to do was grind out the clock, and he decided to go for a long pass to break out backs, yeah. and picked it off. The kid that went to the military. The, uh, Naval Academy? What was his name? Mike, Mike put, put the phone down for a second answer my question. <laughs> <laughs> I can't keep who's up the, with you. Who was the kid that went to the Naval Academy? He uh, was a great wrap-up tackler. You know, he from, to, from where? From Mansfield. He went to the Naval Academy. Oh, oh, uh, oh. <laughs> I, you know, my mind's gone, but I Danny, know I can count on uh, you. Yeah. Well, anyways, yeah. It'll it'll come he, to me I in think a he, second. I think he picked off that pass and sealed the game. Yeah, he, yeah, yeah. Danny Gilmore. Gilmore, thank you. Yeah, I knew it would come back, Mike. It's a kickoff over the 25, and he's going to be tackled. And there's about 10 seconds left in the half. Yeah, voice just changed there. I'm just getting I, I it's like the play-by-play -play on that Reading game. Ethan Lake on the return. It's like it happened yesterday. Eight, you yeah. remember those? Yeah, Jeff it, was, Hill it was just so good because they would they'd move the ball and they'd lose it. They'd move the ball, they'd lose it, and the Reading couldn't stop us. It was like, are you kidding me? We just got to stop turning the ball over. Some great players on that team. Oh my God! Oh, the, uh, sadly, the late great Greg Donahue was yeah. a, a huge member of that team. Yeah. Remember that's a great runner, boy. great runner. What a great, great kid, yeah. great player. That, great. that was just great draft. Of all, the, of all the games in Van that we've seen, that, yeah. that, that, that was right up there. And yeah, that sure. Will be the end of the first that's half. Right. That was an entertaining You're first half. Excellent first half. Yeah. Uh, much closer than the score indicates. 20 nothing. Yeah, Hornets will be back for the third quarter momentarily. Let's meet. Our Mansfield High School varsity cheerleading squad for tonight's game. Captain Haley Francis. Captain Olivia Francis. Anasia DeBarrows. Lexi Maynard. Paris Musto. Olivia Simons. Kaylin Archambault. Emma Bain. Maddie Bodding Johnson, Alyssa Corlito, Bella Gomes, Bella Cafalis, Lauren Shield, Maya Ferrara, Laura Lee Garlinger, Jill Jones, Will Curley, Paisley McInnes, 
Megan Barron, and Mira Chang. That is the Mansfield High School varsity cheerleading squad. We're ready for the second half. Mansfield will kick off. 11 minute quarters. Kick off on the 40. Nice kick down to the 15 yard line. Oh, a nice move. Gives him some opening. Over the 30. Loose ball after it was tackled. It should stay Attleboro ball. It's a heck of a return. Nice should job. Have, have a nice little move. He had yeah. three guys on him. He did a little shake and bake and Pantages broke free. On that return. Aiden Devlin on the stop for the Hornets. First and ten. Bombardiers from their own 34. Well, it's going to be key for Attleboro to get a quick score here, right? To yeah, I don't know if they got it in them, though, but... Uh, I think their offense have been struggling all year, and Mansfield doesn't really give up. They haven't given up two touchdowns in a game yet. Right, right. right. Number 32 has got that explosive speed. That's a nice gain wow. right there. Boy, he had that hesitation, and then he just turned it on. Yeah. Xander owns the stop. Gain of six yards on the play. Xander Holmes. Second down and four from the 40. Lots of motion here. Nice job by the Hornets stuffing that. Sometimes that can be an effective play, right? You got people running all over the place in motion, misdirection, and then you just hand off to the the up back for a <coughs> quick hitter, but Mansfield stuffed it. Yeah. Keegan Cotton, carry. Jay Guy on the stop with Braden Vino. No gain. Third and four. Let's see if we can stop him here. Third and three. Goes in the shotgun. Hands off. Oh, nice cut. Oh, nice tackle. He's got to be a little short, I think. I think he's, well, he's right on the that line. That was a great tackle great and a tackle. great run, too. I mean, that guy was running hard. He extended that run. James it looks like on it the might stop. be a little, a little short. short here, yeah. <laughs> Fourth down and less than a yard. Down 20 nothing. Well, Bombardiers will... Trying to make something happen here. Yeah. Makes the first down. Nice off tackle play. I'll tell you, there's some hard hitting going on down there. These guys are really hitting hard. Yep. 
Good form tackles, good so, hard running. Nick Bertolino on the Somebody got stop. Hurt, hit extra hard yeah, on that play. Yeah. Play it down for Edelboro. Time out for an injured player. These guys are going at it out there. <clears throat> First and ten, Bombardiers from the 47. Well, that was, uh, I guess, an expected call, you know, given the given the score, and but that was still, uh, still gutsy call to go for it in your own territory, and yeah, picked it up. First try down. To, try to get a little momentum going here. Yeah, keep a ball going. Number seventy-six looks like a tackle for the Bombardiers, lower leg injury. Just seems like the lower leg injuries are so commonplace, you know, just getting rolled over and you're in a blocking position and you Do these guys get their ankles taped, Mike? Do you know? I think a lot of them do, yeah. Well, a lot of places they, they insist you do that to yeah. prevent this ankle sprain. But then I think you become dependent on it. Yeah. <laughs> That many bodies flying around, it's just so easy, so easy to, yeah. for an injury to occur. Yeah. They rarely seem to come from the, you know, the hard, you know, the, the clean, hard hits, you know, hard tackles. Oh, it's Those usually someone rolling yeah, into you yeah, on the ground. Yeah. yeah, your own teammate sometimes. First and 10 from the 47. God, they, they just had a lot of guys moving around. Oh, nice job, Elton, putting the pressure on. Oh, broken up. Nice defensive play. Hawkwater's pass that is was incomplete. Great, great penetration by Everett Knowlton. Yeah, yeah. Pressure on the play by the Hornets number eight, Everett Knowlton. <coughs> Second down and ten from the forty-seven. He's really got some good speed too. And yeah, he doesn't have much time to throw, and uh, you know the quarterbacks using used to guys coming in at him at a, at a certain kind of speed, but Knowlton was just yeah, he's on some, top of him. Extra speed. Up the middle. Another quick tough, hitter. Tough yard there. Probably going to have to air it out here. Third and long, right. They haven't, I don't think they've tried a screen, have they? No. It's a good time for them to try a little middle screen. That's a good idea. That's a, that's a really good idea. They don't have time to really sit back, and this kid's, you know, sprinting out to the side trying to get some. Some room, At this point, there's no use speculating on the play because we know what's going to happen now. You've already, <laughs> it's, it's been mandated. It's been, the signal has come Mandated, down. dictated, it's going to happen. That's right. It is written, so, it, so it is. It is so. <laughs> I do like that call, though, especially with Mansfield's uh, penetration. Yeah. Do the cross play, and he's short game. It's going to be fourth and long. Yeah, I don't quite get that. I mean, they've run the misdirection a lot, but Caden Murray on third, carry. third and ten. Well, unless you're just assuming you're going to going to go for it, but this Slight is a long fourth play. down. It fourth is. I mean, why not? Uh, yeah, I'm a little dis a draw. I'm a little disappointed in that. Why don't that just call. show draw and then do the yeah. show the pass and then have a run? But I don't like the play calling there. But we'll see. See if we have another return here with the tag team. Handshake as they're crossing <laughs> the goal line. Good snap there. The cook come, kick coming out of bounds to the left here. About That's the one way to make sure. <laughs> yeah. You don't have a run return. Down. Kick out of bounds. Play. That's right. Out of bounds. Ball goes over there on the punt. Point it to left first and ten. From the 
27? 28? 27? In between the 27 and 28. First and 10, Hornets at their own 28. Nice job by the Hornet defense there. Yeah, Let's see if we can keep it rolling on offense here. Now, last week they had 28 points in the first half, and there was no scoring in the second half. Uh, All right. Let's see if uh, history repeats itself. Now Franklin's Franklin scored a they score a touchdown against us. They might have they did. late yeah, in the did. game maybe. Yeah, no, it was uh at halftime they scored, didn't they? Did they? Yeah. I thought there was. Um and then Milf yeah, Milford scored on a just a dive, you know, like a seventy yard dive play. Really? It was the like the only the only big offensive play they had pretty much the whole game. It was a long run. Yeah, yeah. Just a fullback just right up the middle wow. with an opening. But very few, very few big plays. Very, you know, obviously very few touchdowns that we've given up. Going hands off. Gill fighting for yards. First down. Boy, ten, ten plus. 10, 11 yards on that run. See, way one seventy-five. He's pulling guys. It's with just him. tough to bring down. He's pulling guys with him. Alex Bukowski on the stop. I noticed that because Milford, Milford had a legitimate defense. Like, you know, we, 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 it wasn't that easy for us to score against Milford. So there were a lot of plays where he was, you know, he was getting hit close to the line of scrimmage, and he was carrying people. And he's, he's not a huge kid. Oh, that was a nice play action. Oh, a little too far. Nice pass. Matty Bowen's pass is incomplete. Dana Johnson. Junior, 6-2. Sec, first, second down and 10 from the 40. That was a nice play action. It was. Again, it's going to be hard to run and throw at the same time, huh? Yeah. Both teams definitely have their, their starters still in. It's it's funny you mentioned Knowlton. I, I don't remember seeing him the whole game, and now I've seen him every play <laughs> since, you, <laughs> since you mentioned his name. Oh, that was a Rep nice. the middle. Look at this. That was a nice hesitation it was. too. Dive right up the middle there. Nolan Smith on the stop. A lot of bombardiers on the ground. They're getting pushed back. Yeah. Here. Yeah. I think the offensive the lines the wear them down. Six from the forty-four. Big third down here, though. Number 70, Jake McCoy, senior captain. 6'2", 260, he's got his own size up there. Yeah, for Match sure. Match up well against some of these guys. It's a little quicker and stronger, I don't know. Let's see. Oh, he pulls there, nice, nice wall of blockers going. They stretch oh, him nice, out. They stretch nice him out. Nice defense, yeah. Gonna be fourth down. Yeah, that was a nice defensive it play. It was. Let's see what Coach Redding decides and, to do here. Kick it he, away. A gain of two on the play. Fourth down and four from the 46. I think I'd go for it. You know, just to you know, test our off, test the offense. See if they can come up with a big. Uh, Big conversion. Yeah, you're still in. Because you get that, not, you got not, that reliable defense, yeah, right? Yeah, and you're not in terrible field position. I think you're right. That's what he decides to do. Unless they do uh, some sort of. He's going to kick the ball, or. He's yeah. got it. Cuts to the sideline, out of bounds. Number six Sensei again. <laughs> they must Harris be good friends. Yeah. First down. They have met on the sideline often. It could be dance party. Yeah. <laughs> First down Hornets on that sweep. Good call. Nice. Good call, Coach. Yeah. You call it, Mike. Nice call. Go for it. Keep that drive going. At the bottom of the year, 
Oh, from our, oh, mm-hmm. good, good to hear from the man. Mm-hmm. All right. Oh, this Gill off uh, the right side. Toodaloo. <laughs> oh, he had to <laughs> shake off a couple tacklers oh. again. The guy had the angle. He had the angle. He makes it look easy, Mike. I mean, to, to, he had two back to that right. He had the cut, and then right after the cut, that guy, that guy put a pretty good lick on him. I thought, it just like shrugged him off. I don't know how he does it. I don't know how he does it. It's like a like a. He's like a, a bullfighter. Ole! <laughs> yeah, no, that's a good analogy. Wow, he really is. He step aside, and the guy goes flying by. James Geller in an extra point formation. Cam Walsh is the holder. I think we might come up point short of the. The mercy, the mercy rule, rule. Come, oh, to, yeah. come to the beginning of the fourth quarter. I thought it was 28 points. We'll That'd be pretty bad if you go for two points. Just <laughs> I know, I know. Of course, from the coaching perspective, you probably don't want a running clock, right? You want to get your get your other kids in there, some playing well, time. Well, you think about it, it's a shortened season. Yeah. Um, you don't want to make it any shorter than it already is. Right, they moved back here with that penalty, and they're going to try it again. Snap, hold, kick, Ooh, blocked that, again. They got, they definitely got that block down. That's a second block. Can't advance it, huh? Why can't you advance that, Mike? I thought you I, could. I thought you could too. Maybe it's just in college. They must have changed the rule, yeah. Because the Hattleboro screaming, "Go, <laughs> run, run!" <laughs> Conversion attempt. No good. No good. It remains 26 nothing. 352 in the third quarter. Well, I think the outcome of the game is no longer in doubt, but uh, we'll see how it how it plays out here. Defense, you know, the offense is just so flashy, yeah. right? But it's the defense, the defense is solid. Is it really is solid. You get you get a good pass rush, run stoppers. Linebackers, pass defenders, good solid squad. I mean, this this kid at Milford, you could tell he just had a lot of a lot of talent. He had a great great arm, but he just had no one to throw to. Wow. He had no one to throw to. They were just blanketed. Sounds like Tom Brady a couple of years yeah. ago. This has been a pretty typical Mansfield game this season, right? Yeah. 20, 26 to zip. Oh, chest high catch at the 15. He goes to the middle, gets some room. Up to the 40, good run back. I'll tell you, that's good special teams. That's about the, the, only, Burrow, that's the only thing I think I mean, our Mansfield points. coaching staff has to talk about right. in terms of Areas for improvement, kickoff return. The these guys have a nice in conversion. Yeah, conversions. <laughs> yeah. Special team, yeah. that's a big part of the game. Because they've had some nice run backs. Right. I mean, they've had the ball at the 40, 45 a few times now. Yep. All right, boys, I think it's time to just air it out. What the heck? It's 345 left of the third. They have to uh, make it happen here. And there's their pass. Complete. There you go. Short gain. Guys, pretty, they're pretty accurate on That's these, these short passing plays. Five five pass pickup. is complete. Peyton Hegarty. Jake Wall on the stop. Second down and six from the 45. 
I bet 32 is a pretty good receiver, too. Yeah. Oh, brick wall. Nothing there. <laughs> yeah, that kind of straight-ahead running play. I, they just have not, not gained much yardage with that at all. Mark D. Just a junior Mark D. Oh, yeah, he's unbelievable. Be a captain next year, no doubt, huh? I think so. Good candidate anyway. Yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of them. I know. I mean, there's a lot of great players coming back in just a few months. September. I'm trying the short pass right. Complete. Just a little short. Probably picked up three or four there, but he's might be a yard short. On the stop. A gain of six on the play of yeah, the kid, four. That running back's got so much speed. Yeah. So, so athletic that, that I could see that, that play working. Yeah. I still like your idea for screen pass, though. I just think that would fool Mansfield. Do you do you get the sense that Attleboro needs a couple more yeah. plays in their bag? Yeah. It's like you get the you get the, get the run counter. up the middle. You get the crisscross. You got a short pass. I haven't really seen yeah. much else. Yeah, they really haven't had any like intermediate passes. No. Nope. Somebody jumped. Oh my God! It's gonna be long for them now. They might want to punt this now. If, well, no, there's no sense punting now. Nah. Ball stop penalty against the Bombardiers. It'll be fourth and seven from the 44. Oh, you're right. They are. They are gonna punt. I'm surprised. I thought they'd go for it. Maybe they hope for a little miscue or something. Yeah. Defensive stop. We feel position. Who knows? Short punt Always out of bounds. Punt no run back. It's interesting that both teams had like fourth First and ten hornets. Fourth and five from their own twenty seven plus yards. Yeah. And Mansfield went for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Attleboro didn't. <laughs> I think yeah, I think for Mansfield that you know, it's not like they're trying to run up the square. It was just a hey, here's a fourth down. Midfield, we got to get five but yards. Let's see if we can get it. But you can understand how maybe the other side takes yeah. it the wrong way. Yeah, yeah. These guys are trying to run it up on us, but that's not it at all, yeah. really. Let's see if we got some uh, some of our second team. next, next uh, team coming in here. A few changes there? I think so. Nice cut back there. Nice run. That was a nice run. The 15, Drew Sacco, sophomore. Drew Sacco on the carry. Nolan Smith on the stop. That's a really nice See run. That cut? made a nice a cut. Nice cut. yards, first and 10 Hornets from their own 40. Now, that's how I typically think of a cut. Like, he, right. he took a little, little bit of time to cut. It's not like... Sincere is just on the. Well, he has his own style. Sincere has his own style. Yeah. That's a first down. Drew up to the 40. He made a great cut and then a lot of power at the end yeah. of that run. Hand off up the middle there. Nice gang tackle by Attleboro. Nice run there. Rocco Scapolini comes up a little. Limping on that foot. Hope he's okay. He's a good talent, that kid. Second down and eight. He had a lot of guys tackling him, too. Yeah. A lot of big guys. Sometimes in those situations, I almost wish the guy would go to, you know, it's like. Yeah. Connor 
Tucker Zukowski into the game at quarterback for the Hornets. All right, new QB, Zukowski. He goes Sacco again. Oh, I like another, it. another five or six yards. A lot of hitting out there, Mike. To Sacco on the carry. I really like how he runs. He's got that long stride, too. Yeah. Bell's in there, too. Nice job, Mr. Sacco. He builds up a nice head of steam with that, yep. with that run. Even though he had to cut, he's headed towards the sideline, and then he just makes a sharp right and plows forward. Yeah. That is the end That's of the third quarter. Here at Alumni Field. 26 nothing at the end of three. Field Hornets, 26. Seattle World, zero. Second squad out there, get some experience from the lights. You remember what a big excitement it was to get into the into the game when you're in high school the first time, a real game oh, where everything oh counts. Yeah. It's the real game, it's not just a scrimmage. Yeah. Or a, I thought it was pretty intimidating as a sophomore to, you know, because just developmentally, I mean, these guys were just they, they look like They look like men, right? They get <laughs> beards, they're big, and <laughs> they're grunt so, grunting. They were just so much bigger. <laughs> I'm like, what am I doing out here? I mean, a, a year or two at that age, you know, can be. And make a huge difference. Yeah, but some of these young kids, they oh, step yeah. in there, they're like seasoned pros. They just step in and they don't miss a beat. Third and three. Up the oh, middle, nice. there's a big hole there. Nice hole by the line there. Rocco, Rocco Scarpellini, first down. Nice, nice run. run. He's a hard runner, Good, too. Good, tough runner. I love this kid. Ethan Lyko on the stop. Scarpellini and Sacco, they make quite a tandem, you know? There's, there's just more talent coming up the ranks. It's amazing. I mean, that's another example. Those two kids would start on just by almost yeah, every team on the, in the state. Yeah. Look at this, look at this line. Yeah. Look at this long, young line. Wow. Making these big holes. That was great. That was a great run. Rocco Scarpellini. Great blocking. Oh, Scarpellini, look at that. Another big run. Bombardier tacklers. Oh, don't. It's my guy. Jip Day. 55. Looks like he got an, another ankle. Yeah, he got. Someone kind of came out of the pack and hit him late. Shake that off. Ice that down. <laughs> Gain of eight yards. Shake it off. Second and two from the 38. Scarpellini, boy, he's, he had a nice line in front of him. That was a, that was a love, great run. You love seeing this. I mean, this is like a whole new game. You get new faces in yeah. there. Positive yards, good blocking. And no, uh, no, you know, mistakes or too many men on the field or any procedure. This bell goes wide. Goes extra wide. Gets a couple tough yards. Good run. CJ Bell nice on job. the carry. That's good yeah, for the I'm first Yeah, I'm impressed down. with uh, Zukowski's running the offense here because it's not like we're just running dive plays. No. I mean, we're doing some misdirection. These are full-blown yeah. handoffs, turnarounds. Connor Zukowski, sophomore. That's a gain of six That's yards. great experience for these yeah. kids. It first really is. ten Hornets at the bottom of the year, Yeah, just like this year, I had no idea who our quarterback was going to be. Yeah. I have no idea who it's going to be in the fall. Yeah. No clue. It's kind of nice having that... Uh, the options that you get several people to yeah. choose from. I mean, like we've seen before, you lose your quarterback. It's good to have someone that can just step in and not miss a beat as opposed yeah, to sure. we have this one big star and he's gone. No. Yeah. Oh, defense toughens up on that play. C.J. Bell on the carry. Chris Leonardo on the stop. Travis, Travis Hennessy, a sophomore. a sophomore. Watch number five here. They They're going to give him a shot. One. It'll be second and 11 from the 33. What a stable full of running backs. <laughs> I know. Scarpellini comes out. 
Travis like, Hennessy comes like in. We have 12 guys. They're all good. The ball. They're all good, Mike. They hit hard. They're and fast. They know what to do. And well it, trained. And all, every coached. year, every year it seems to be that way, right? The whole program. When, when did we have a lean never. running back year? There he is, number five, up the middle. <laughs> positive yardage. Travis Hennessy on the carry. William. Travis. You know, my favorite running back when I was a kid, when I first started watching football. Travis was a running back for the Green Bay Packers. Travis Williams. Oh, really? Yeah, I just love the name. He used to be a tough runner. Travis Williams. Travis Williams. Well, I don't remember him. It was Green Bay with Bart Starr. Bart Starr years? Yeah. Yeah. I just, yeah, for some, I just remember their receiver, Dale, Dale Dollar. I remember their receivers more than their. Yeah. Travis was. He, he had a sad ending, though. He's, he, he, I think it was ended up homeless or something later in life. But oh, wow. Great running back. Nice little pitch there. Nice move up inside. It's Bell. He's still going. T.J. Bell on the carry. Positive Wilson. yardage. That's good. Rooney on the stop. It's fun watching these guys. It is. You know? It's a whole new thing. Trainer Shirk also on that stop. It for doesn't, the doesn't really drop off in terms of efficiency. I mean, they, no. these guys know what they're doing out there. Yeah. yeah sometimes you get some confusion and then guys ask each other questions. Fourth but down and seven from the 28. We were saying how there's no running clock because there's no, right? But you know, the, but the <laughs> we've run every play, so it's yep. Clock hasn't Travis stopped. Travis Hennessy on the carry. Hennessy up the middle again. <clears throat> A few more. Turn it over on down. Turn down. Defense comes Chris in. Leonardo Offense comes off. Stop. See some new faces on defense as yep. well. Yep. So I think you see uh, Adelbar's got their first, first team. You might see uh, a little more success right now against the second team, but yeah, that's fine. Six sixteen left in the game. You know, it's pretty much the same scores last week, but this this just had more of a, a true game feel yeah. to it, you know? Yeah. Ryan wide here. Outside. Look at the nice play there for the cornerback. Oh, a late flag, a late push. What's that? You don't need that. That'll bore a guy got his lick in after the play yeah. was over. Hey, Murray McCarry. Nothing vicious, though. Now they don't throw the flag. Yeah, <laughs> right, right. There's definitely a lot of – there's been a spirit to this Attleboro team throughout the game. Yeah. That's one thing KP, Yeah, they after a few – they just kind of seem to shut down. Yeah. They're a feisty bunch. Yeah. There we go. Nice play by the defender. Nice, yeah. took it right down. It was a nice stop. Or early, early whistle, they're going to scream. <laughs> they didn't take him down, they heard a whistle. <laughs> but he's wrapped up. You don't want to. Yeah. You lift the guy up and like that. He tats taking shots. You don't want to see him get That's hurt. Complete. That's tough to make that tackle. You're out there. Oh, amazing. You're, it must be real tough. There's no one, Open field. There's no one nearby. First You're going to hang on. Yeah. At the 39. Unless you comer, you just give him the shoulder and the guy goes down like a bag of coins. <laughs> that, was, that was quite a hit. That's confidence when you can just pop someone Boom. with your shoulder yeah. and I know, know they're going I'm down. I know he's going down. <laughs> Up the middle, some yardage, okay. It's, it's uh, getting a little, a little chippy out there. They're still, still going at it. Oh, they're helping each other up, see? Oh All right, there we go. Keegan Conley on the carry, gain of six. Second down and four from the 45. The 
Deep pass. Yeah, that's. I think that's a flag. All right. There is a flag on the play. Pass attempt. That wasn't a bad toss. No, pass was there. Some contact. They throw the flag. Okay. Pass interference call against the Hornets. Fifteen-yard penalty. First and ten. Bombardiers at the Hornet forty. Trying to get some points on the board for sure. Mansfield doesn't want to give up any. Yeah, this is another shutout. It's a matter of pride. Yeah. 419, first and 10. Oh, nice takedown there. Number 60. He's showing his own spunk there. Yeah, that was Jeremy. a nice start. Colton Johnson. Colton Johnson on the stop. Sophomore. Lineman. Another sophomore? Again, wow. Colton Johnson. I like that. Yeah. From the These guys are getting some excellent playing time in here. Yeah. I like these new faces, though, Mike. You know, yeah. Look into the future. It's nice having a whole quarter plus, you know, to, to do that, too. It's, it's as opposed to a couple a, plays. Yeah. yeah, right, right. I mean, they really got to run a nice... Nice drive, yeah. nice defensive series. Second and nine. The long pass. I think that's a penalty too. No, it's overthrown. Oh, it's too far. There might have been some contact there. Yeah. I think it might yeah, have been uncatchable. Too far. Yeah. You're right. Good call by the ref there. A non-call. The this is against their first squad, Mike. Yeah. They're doing it right. Here out another one here. Third and nine. See, I th thirty-two split out. Wide oh, trying to go right wide here. Oh, it's a pass. You got to roll out. Looks like he's gonna have some room. That kid's got some wheels. He does. Aiden Hawkwater on the keeper. Close to a first down. That's the first. That's the first time I've really noticed his speed. Yeah. Uh, the quarterback hasn't really run with it much, right? right? He's, he's got some got room. Some, he's got some good he's got some good wheels there. Mansfield player down. Lower First leg injury. Bombardiers at the 30. A lot of lower leg injuries. Ankles. Yeah. I guess that was a first down. I'm surprised they haven't used his legs more. Yeah. He yeah, seems to have a, speed. Yeah, just do a scramble, just do a roll blue out. leg or wildcat, anything. Yeah, quarterback draw or something. I can't tell who's banged up, but not getting up quickly. So next week they're off to Taunton, and, and then I think I, th I think we have a Saturday morning g game against Foxborough. That'll be home, right? Yep. Yeah. And that'll be the season. That's huh? it. Yeah. Oh boy, this guy's really banged up. He's held getting off the field. Now, just to make it seem like the Thanksgiving Day game, should we bring in a roast turkey for that game, Mike? All right. Dexter Harris is the guy. Dexter Harris. Oh. Hope it's not serious. Yeah. Can't put any weight on it. That's uh, well, that doesn't look great. She's looking at the knee. Oh, look at the defense! Defense on uh, Mansfield here. Big stop. Nice Aiden job. On the carry. I like this defensive Colton front. Johnson on Colton the Johnson again. He likes to play. No gain. Second and ten. Player, from Mike. The 30. 
Second and ten, 252. Oh, I've missed a whole series of. Let's hear the Mallon report. <laughs> the Mallon corner. He remembers the offensive coordinator from Reading. Oh, yeah. That's probably I'm thinking about. Thinking yep. The head coach wasn't the heavy set fellow. Oh, a nice long pass incomplete. He said the, the guy with the flat top. The yeah, flat, the flat top yeah. and the, the sunglasses. He, but he's, he's, he's stumped on his name. But he, he said he left Reading to become a head coach at a smaller school. Oh. And then remember how I said he, I couldn't believe he didn't know what kind of engineer Brian Bork was? He is a civil engineer. Civil engineer. <laughs> Matt Carini, remember him from Franklin? Yeah. He's an accountant. Yeah. One of the toughest guys Mansfield ever had to tackle. Wow. This is and Coach Mallon, when he coached against Matt Carini when he was a Pop Warner, he put out a number 27 with his name on it, you know, for the kids to tackle. Yeah. And he still has that jersey. No kidding. Yeah. Classic. We should have a where are they now corner on the show. And this, this could be Mike's uh, time to shine. Jeff Hill. Jeff working Hill. in San Diego. San Diego. And he's watching tonight's game. Wow. Shout out to Jeff Hill. Good for him. Is he surfing out there or trying to get into the movies or what? Working for Dell. Dell Computers. Good. And Mike uh, Mike Mallon getting married in a couple months. Mike Mallon Jr. He's also a civil engineer. Now, can in you construction be in, industry. Can you be an in wow. un uncivil engineer? <laughs> like an unregistered nurse or <laughs> illegal secretary? Good for them. Good to hear what those guys are doing now. Wow, he is just, this is just a fountain of information. I think that's impressive that Matt Carini was like 10 years old and they had a, you know, a jersey with his number on it. He had and a reputation still, as a real still stud, has. huh? Good for him. Yeah, they put it around the dummy and had the yep. kids. <laughs> And what happened? At, what, what was his career like? Where did he go after high school? Any idea? Uh, Mr. Mallon will know. Forced out of bounds. Carini. Don't throw that flag. I'm Come on. He tackled him. Maybe UNH. I'm sure I'll, we'll hear about it shortly. Keegan Conley on that carry. There is a flag on the play. Yeah, my son's senior year, they lost to Franklin, and that was in the, the era where you couldn't lose a game or you'd be out of the playoffs. Oh, it was, yeah. It was against, against Matt Carini. Yeah. Carini played football at UMass Amherst. Okay. <laughs> it's just, there's no delay. Like wow. That. He's just, it's, it's the still answer, his, man. It's his instant recall. That's amazing. I think if we, we could perfect this approach, yeah, we got the hotline. You're, you're play by play, and I just, I just relay the text messages and the in. trivia and recent history corner. Because right. I always, I always wonder what happened to these guys. Where did they go? Malin knows. Malin knows. That's the new. That's he the name of the, <laughs> That's the corner. Malin knows. We'll have like a crystal ball or a magic eight ball. Just call it Malin where are, knows. Where are they now? One step beyond. <laughs> Edelbo still driving, trying to get that first score. Gave Murray on the carry. Just a little over two minutes left. Down inside the 10. Driving. Gain of seven will be second and three from the five. Oh, I know Mansfield doesn't want to allow a score here. Yeah, the five and Attleboro wants to push one in. Going to be a pitch to this guy. No, nope, quarterback keeper. Oh, they take him down for a loss. Back to the 10. Look at this Mansfield Hornet defense. So much for that. That was the play I was. Yeah. I thought they should call. I thought the guy had some Colton nice, nice Johnson wheels. On the stop. Who made the stop? Like Colton Johnson again. Colton Johnson. The star in the making. He's another one of you guys. Up and coming. You spot Seven. these guys. It's a diamond in the rough. Yeah. You can just see it. From the nine. Like Holmes and Scarpellini, these guys have this this young ability. I don't know how they do it. Oh, look at this! Taken down! Look at this! Oh. Look at this kid! Seventeen. 
Aiden Devlin. Aiden Murray on the carry. Aiden Devlin. Junior. These guys are these pumped guy, up. These guys are like the doomsday defense. Yeah. <laughs> Two on the play. They're playing for pride, boy. I like this. I like this. You ever seen guys so fired up in a 26-0 oh. game with and a minute and they're, left? And they're bonding right here, Mike. Yeah, yeah. They're Good in the point. pits. They're in the pits now. And they're making plays with each other, and they never forget this. And it's late in the game with the game decided, but they're in there defending the uh, shutout. I tell you, the crowd is pretty pumped up yeah. here. Oh! <laughs> he take it down. This guy's playing out of his. This guy's unconscious. <laughs> Eight, number 17, Eight Devlin. Devlin. Junior, he is, he is one-man pumped. wrecking crew. He is pumped up. He's playing unconscious. <laughs> what an impressive stop, Mike. This Mansfield second defense is in there, and it's like uh, they didn't miss a beat. It's when, like the first defense. When did they start at, like, the three- or four-yard line? Or? Yeah, they drove first him back with a sack, a stop. This is the first offensive out of Mike. They can't move it on the second team. This is the story of the night. These guys are jacked uh, up. Are These guys are up. jacked up. This is going to live in haunted folklore. Legendary. I mean, the, the outcome of the game is decided, but this is pride, player against player. They didn't let them in, and they that, sacked them. That was an impressive stand. Great stand. Goal I mean, line one stand. great play after another, right? Different guys. Stars on the, stars on the rise. I love to see this. And then to have the same guy two plays in oh, a row like that. Oh, <laughs> shining star. He was so pumped up after the third down Game ball. play. <laughs> Game ball. Yeah. One of quarterbacks take a knee. 18 seconds left. Mansfield kneels down. And they're going to wind this one down, Mike. 26 to nothing. A great job of the Mansfield offense. A fantastic and job of the defense, Mike. They shut out this Attleboro team. But the, the story of the day is the second team. The second team for the Hornets. What teams they got coming down the pike, Mike? Oh, unbelievable. That defensive stand is one of the best I've seen since I've been here. Playing for pride, was, playing for was, pride. That was Attleboro still their, their number First one team. team. And they were making and these plays. Were, this was like second or third level. Just a, a group of guys thrown together. But you, you show uh, these kids how to play. You coach them well, and they're playing for pride. And, boy, did they, they deliver. That's a great, great performance. All right, another one. Mike, a couple so, of weeks. Yeah, a couple of weeks. We'll be uh, we'll be back here. Next week they'll be away in uh, Taunton, so we'll come back here for Foxborough. Foxborough, a weeks. Foxborough, right baby. The, season. the old school rival. All right, we're wrapping it up. Larry Smith with Mike Zongetti. Final thoughts, Mike, quickly before we sign off. Just a great, a much better game than I thought it was going to be, and it was just as you said, great to have all the guys in the game and and to see these these fresh faces so fired up. It's excellent. Fantastic. All right, good night, folks. See you in two weeks.